What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a quick preface video for my upcoming day trip to Disneyland's California Adventure, or I guess technically Disney's California Adventure. So I wanted to give a quick update, expectations, kind of summary of where I'm at going into this particular trip that I'll be reviewing once I'm done with the visit to California Adventure. So as far as memory serves, I've been to the park about I think twice that I can remember I was thinking maybe one more time after that but there's really only two trips that I can remember the first was shortly after the park opened um, I don't remember that there were too many things to do um, the Grizzly River Run they're basically their tube ride similar to um, the raft ride at Knott's Berry Farm I think I might have gone on that whatever the name of the roller coaster at the time was called well before it was called the Incredicoaster. So um, there was that maybe, um, I want to say the Ferris wheel and whatever their pier, their um, boardwalk pier rides were like. Um, I vaguely remember a Mission Tortilla store where they would make uh, Mission Tortillas fresh daily. So we would, went to try those. So for some reason, that's kind of my memory of the uh, trip at the time. I really don't remember much of going on any of the rides, mostly because I guess there wasn't too much going on. I don't remember if Soaring Over California or Soaring Over America was open yet, but I have a general, or I'm not sure if I'm confusing that, the going on that ride on the first or second trip. Um, with the second trip, which, it, um, and I guess that trip was shortly after the park opened, the second trip, or the second time I went to the park was about nine or ten years ago so we did have the same i definitely did go on the roller coaster then still it was before it was called the incredicoaster um i did we did go on the tower of terror that second on that second trip so it was in um rocket raccoon's uh, mission blast off or whatever it's called now um well before the avengers campus was built um definitely did go on the grizzly river run that time soaring over america um not sure what else is there um, as far as various other rides and stuff, but um, basically we did spend, I want to say, at least half a day at the park. We used the Disney Park Hopper service, so we went to Disneyland in the morning and then California Adventure in the afternoon. But we did make it onto all the rides, or at least the major rides, so those three that I uh, mentioned, and made it around the park to check it out and that sort of stuff. So going into the, um, the trip now for... Um, August 24th is that um, we now have Avenger, the Avengers Campus open so I want to check out some of the shows um, the rebranded Tower of Terror which is now Rocket Raccoon's ride so whatever that is to check that out uh, maybe check out some of the shows like the Spider-Man show see what kind of characters are roaming about check out the Sanctum Sanctorum um, and all of that basically just whatever they have at the Avengers Campus I have I'm trying to go into it as spoiler free as possible so I think there's a Spider-Man Web Slingers ride which seems very much like the Berry Tales ride at Nuss Berry Farm so check that out um, I am gonna of course try and get on the Incredicoaster just I mean I'm, I've been on the ride it doesn't look like they really did too much as far as the actual ride itself but they did do a rebrand around the Incredibles and um, check out Pixar Pier see kind of what theming they have going on there as far as Pixar stuff goes um, I may or may not go on Grizzly River Run, but if it gets pretty hot by the afternoon, then I might try and go on, you know, before lunch, something along those lines. Um, I think that pretty much covers the bulk of the rides. Um, there was a swing ride that actually sounded pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of like a Sky Captain in a World of Tomorrow kind uh, name, or the name is kind of like a Sky, is like a straight out of Sky Captain and the World of Tomorrow, so... Maybe go on that. Otherwise, just have a general uh, relaxing time at the park. It's not necessarily as busy of a park as Disneyland, but because the opening or the entrance of the park and much of the theming is supposed to mimic um, what we see at um, Knott's Berry Farm along the lines of kind of honoring the history and memory of um, California, you have the entrance, which is kind of supposed to be like the Disney Studios and the history of Hollywood and things like that. Then you have various um, 
National Park style areas, which is the whole Grizzly River run side of the park. Then you have Avengers Campus for all the Avengers stuff, um, Cars Land for all, and the Pixar Pier and all of that stuff to kind of bring the Disney feel to the Santa Monica Pier kind of stuff or Southern California. So um, all in all, that's kind of the um, stuff to check out from my understanding of what I saw on the website and what new attractions there are. So I don't have a particular order that I'm going to do anything in. So basically just walk around the park, go on stuff as I as stuff interests us, that sort of thing. Um, as far as food goes, we're, we want to check out the shawarma joint um, just to have the whole Avengers thing, see what kind of, see how that food is. Maybe check out some of the drinks at, um, I want to say the PIM Testing Lab or whatever that restaurant is for PIM Labs. Um, some of the beers that are on their menu and mixed drinks look kind of interesting. Um, as far as snacks, maybe have a churro or something like that from one of the stands, but that's kind of all up in there as far as desserts go. And then um, everything else kind of take it from there. Um, the bulk of the shows we kind of just want to see is what's at Avengers Campus. But um, beyond that, that's kind of um, all there is. It, we're, because um, school has already started, we anticipate being able to get everything done by early afternoon. So it all depends on how many people are there, if there's, you know, special uh, work trips or things like that. But near as we can tell, we should be able to get everything done. But we kind of want to check out the park and what changes have happened over the past 10 years, um, how they've updated stuff, uh, what kind of attractions they've added, and also check out the Avengers Campus and check out some of the stores and attractions and see kind of does it live up to the MCU level of stuff um, and the Avengers and all of the stuff we've seen in the movies, how they translate that into real life? Is it a good um, themed area to match in California Adventure what they've done with Galaxy's Edge for Star Wars in the Disneyland Park and kind of take it from there? Um, as far as the YouTube channel, I haven't quite decided how much I'm going to upload yet, but... The plan is to kind of do a POV style walkthrough of the various areas, kind of the highlights of what we saw, where we stopped at, what we did throughout the day. And then um, once the day is over, have a or I'll put up a recap video to kind of outline what we did, the itinerary, what we were able to accomplish, not accomplish. Um, and generally what we think of the park now that it's had some time to uh, grow and live and breathe and upgrade itself over the course of the years, especially since when the park opened, it did not really open to um, very positive reviews. But now that it's had some time to, like I said, grow and um, breathe and improve over the years, um, does it honor the memory of California's history? Um, are the attractions worth the cost of going to the park? Or is it kind of one of those things where it's really only worth a half day trip? Um, from my memory of it, um, the main detraction from going to the park is the lines. So I didn't see too much as far as um, the lines for in the Incredicoaster, but um, the Cars Land ride for the, whatever that Cars racetrack thing um, seems notorious for having really long wait times um, in excess of, you know, an hour and a half to two hours. So you do need to utilize things like the Genie Pass system, the single single rider line. And things like that so imagine that for all their rides so um we'll see how that goes and we'll take it from there so that's all there is for this particular video um so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that i'll be checking um out the comments on the video throughout the day um so if there's a place to check out if you guys have any recommendations on where to go to eat or have something to drink or an attraction to check out is there a secret area to uh, walk around at or check out while we're there? Then I'll look out for those throughout the day. I think that really the only thing that I saw so far as a secret really is, I guess there's a trail through a, um, a, the, or a, a national park style forest or something in the um, wilderness area or something like that. So we might look out for things like that and do some research throughout the day, but if there's anything worth checking out, I'll check out um, or I'll be looking out for comments throughout the day on the video. 
and upload stuff as I um, have time or after the trip or depending on all that stuff and how the reception is and all that. But um, look out for videos. The usual thing applies where I'll aim to upload, you know, 4K videos of so the best quality and um, with a summary of kind of my thoughts of that area um, in the video uh, description. So that's all there is for this update. So uh, to recap, uh, going to California Adventure to check out Avengers Campus, Incredicoaster, and the various improvements that they've made since our memory of the trip from about 10 years ago. Um, check out the shawarma joint and some drinks and things like that and generally just have a chill day at California Adventure to see if the uh, park honors a memory of the various features of California and is it a park worth going to and checking out or is it one of those things where the park is only really worth going to once every say few years like maybe five to seven years or once there's a new attraction or updates whereas um, it feels like Disneyland might be worth more or might be a better part to go to if you're only able to spend a day there to go you know once a year or every couple of years or even one of those things where the three-day pass for California residents might be worth it to go to um, Disneyland a couple, like a day and a half, and then a day and a half for California Adventure, or split it up to be able to check out all the attractions. So um, that's all there is for this um, preliminary video. So look out for a completed playlist um, as I get the videos uploaded. Um, I'll have a link in the show notes to the playlist. So. You guys can bookmark that, save that, and um, check out the full list when it's done. Um, so that, and thanks for watching this preliminary video, and I hope for a great day at the park. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, comments, like I said, are welcome. Look out for the for the videos and the summary video once I get that. Once we're done with the day, and I have a chance to record and upload that, so you guys can get my thoughts and comment on um your thoughts on the park and all of that stuff as well um and of course if you like this video and the other various videos that i upload be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel at uh, youtube.com slash patel n01 hit the bell and all that good stuff to get notified for uh, as i upload videos and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning into this particular video and i'll see you guys soon